The leader of South Korea's opposition Democratic Party, Lee Jae-myung, speaking with reporters when an elderly man, dressed as a supporter, stabs him in the neck. The assailant is quickly tackled by security personnel, while a handkerchief is pressed against Lee Jae-myung's neck to stem the bleeding. He was rushed into initial surgery in Busan, then airlifted to a Seoul hospital. Where people had already gathered in a state of shock. I was watching it live because leader Lee Jae Mung said he would be visiting Kigo New Airport in real time. I turned on the broadcast and then was so shocked I turned it off. I am a supporter. My heart is aching. The daytime attack prompted swift condemnation across the political board, including from President Yoon Suk Yeol. Speaking here outside the hospital, a senior spokesperson for the Democratic Party described the stabbing of Lee Jae Myung as an act of terror and an attack on democracy. After two hours of surgery to remove blood clots and stem the bleeding from a punctured jugular vein, he was moved to intensive care. It was a very urgent and serious situation where his life could have been in danger. The former civil rights lawyer, who grew up in poverty, lost the 2022 presidential election by the slimmest margin ever recorded in South Korea. He was recently hospitalized during a hunger strike to protest Japan's release of contaminated water from a crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant. He has also been embroiled in corruption and breach of trust cases, some of which are still ongoing. The 66-year-old man who carried out the attack has so far refused to reveal his motive to police, though has confessed his intent was to kill. A special police probe has been launched into how the stabbing occurred and how security for politicians can be better handled in the future. Prosecutors say they plan to charge his assailant with attempted murder. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.